Hey y'all, welcome to this week's What's For Dinner. I'm gonna be sharing with you several meals that we have made throughout the week. I know for the past couple of weeks, my What's For Dinners have been sort of lacking. I haven't been making a full week of meals like I usually do, but it's real life y'all, it's summertime. There are days where I don't feel like cooking, especially if we've been outside playing in the yard and things like that. Then I'm just throwing stuff into the oven like, you know, quick fix stuff like chicken nuggets and whatever. And then there's been times we've just ran into town. But this week we've tried to get back into the swing of cooking at home. So I hope that y'all will enjoy this week's What's For Dinner. Let's get started. Hey y'all. Tonight we are just, I'm going to try to make homemade Alfredo sauce. Um, the only thing is, is it called for one and a half cups of grated Parmesan and I only have one cup. So we're just going to see how it turns out with what I have. So the recipe I'm using said to melt four tablespoons of butter on low heat. So I'm doing that and then I'm going to add, once this is done heating up, I'm going to add four cloves of garlic. And then we're just going to kind of let the let that saute or whatever for about five minutes or so and then we're going to add in our heavy cream and tonight it's just me and the kids my husband is uh, gone on the road in the truck so um we had a bunch of leftover spaghetti noodles my husband made spaghetti on saturday we had company and he made a lot of noodles so instead of letting those go to go to waste i decided to do alfredo and I didn't have any, so I decided to try to make my own. So now I'm gonna add in four cloves of garlic. So there's two, three, four. And we're just gonna let this kind of slowly heat up for about five minutes. And it lets the garlic infuse this butter to get it all yummy and good. It smells so good, I love garlic. So. I'm gonna do that but this week I have meals planned and so there'll be a lot more more meals in this week's video than last week last week was just kind of an off week I had a lot of stuff going on we ended up eating in town several nights and so yeah that is why um, and I'm sorry I apologize for that that is not my my normal way of doing things but hey life happens summertime happens and so but I'm trying to get back to my normal routine. So I'm gonna let this heat up and then I'll come back in a little bit. Okay y'all, um, I kind of walked away so this might have went more than five minutes but that's okay, it's not burning or anything like that. It smells really good. Um, we are gonna take some heavy cream. I just used the, um, the Great Value brand and we're gonna pour in one cup. And now, let's stir that in and we're gonna turn this up to medium. And it says to let this cook for five minutes, stirring occasionally. I know it doesn't say to do this, oops, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna add in some Italian seasoning. That's what I always do when I make it even in the bottle, I add more Italian seasoning. And so I'm gonna do that on here because this recipe actually doesn't call for um, doesn't call for any seasoning. So, and once again, I just have the great value Italian seasoning. Just put a, a few sprinkles in there. We're gonna let this kind of come up to a simmer. And then once it's to a simmer, then we'll let it cook for about five minutes, but we will want to cook it. I mean, we will want to stir it every now and then. Sorry, I'm so tongue-tied, y'all. So tongue-tied. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna pause this for a little bit while I just kind of continue to let this cook. I'll okay. be back. Okay, y'all, it has been going for a little while. We're gonna remove it from the heat and we're gonna add in the Parmesan cheese. Um, this is just the Walmart or the Great Value brand and it called for one and a half cups. I only have one cup, so I really hope this will work. 
It's just gonna have to work. So, we're gonna mix that in. And we need to add in, oops, I'm making a mess. And we're gonna add in another half a cup, half a cup of the whipping cream that was left, the heavy cream. So I got that, I'm gonna add in my half a cup of whipping cream. And I'm gonna actually put it back over here on the heat. Okay, I'm gonna move it back over here to the heat because the recipe said you may have to because it may take several minutes for the cheese to melt if it looks goopy at first and then this the sauce will smooth out so if it does and we can add more cream if I need to let that warm up and I decided because I didn't have any meat thawed out or anything I said at first we were just gonna eat this with noodles but I had some smoked sausage that I could thaw out really quickly so I'm just gonna kind of fry that up and we'll have that along with this. I don't know, it kind of sounded like good to me, so. That Parmesan cheese is really strong. So I'm gonna add in, maybe just a tad less, it's not quite a half a cup. We're gonna add that in. And I'm gonna throw in some pepper because it is kind of salty from uh, all that Parmesan cheese, so. Just a tad. So I'm gonna let that continue to warm slowly. And then I'm gonna uh, fry up these. I have the Hillshire Farms beef smoked sausages. This pan back here, I'm gonna put it on about medium. I think I'm just gonna spray it with some cooking spray. Real good, let that warm up. And then I'm just gonna fry those a little bit to go up with it. So now I'm gonna just place these in here. It's starting to warm. It's not 100% warmed up, but it'll be all right. Some of these I kind of cut crazy. It don't matter. I don't care. It's fine. I've got the Alfredo done, and it's not bad, but we'll see how it tastes with the noodles. Next time I make this, I'm gonna buy a better brand of Parmesan cheese. And these, I think they're not going to be much longer. They're really starting to, they're really starting to fry up. So, I'm just going to kind of flip them a little bit more. And these all are just about done. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take these out. Now I'm going to put them on a plate lined with paper towels because they got some grease in them. bringing you over here I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do now <laughs> this is a gallon size bag of spaghetti noodles that my husband <laughs> made too much of so I've got three bowls set out here let me kind of zoom out for y'all now okay I got three bowls and I'm just gonna go ahead and start I'm gonna put some in each bowl and we're just gonna microwave it I think will be the best way to just kind of warm them up a tad. And we'll do this one for Adrian. We'll do this one for Courtney. And this one will be for me. Okay. And I'm just gonna put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds or so and see how that is. All right, y'all, I wanna show y'all how I'm gonna do the kids' plates. What I ended up doing is I cut up almost all those sausages into smaller pieces and I'm just going to put some of these on top. Get my Alfredo sauce. I'm going to put it over the top. Let's see if that's enough for them. If they need more, I'll give them more. But I will... Come back in a little bit and we'll do our react. It's just me and these two tonight. Courtney, how do you um, like it? I like it. It's not like a normal, I feel like it'd be better chicken though. I it's know. It's pretty good. What do you think, Adrian? It's good. 
I think it's pretty good for, you know, something quick and easy. Like I said, I will, next time I will make it with the better Parmesan cheese. For some reason, this kind, oof, it's kind of, to me, it's a little salty. I don't know. But, I was like, yeah, and it was easy for a Monday night meal when you just want to get something together that doesn't take a lot of time. Um, we're actually eating before six o'clock. And that's usually what we aim to eat at, so that's a good thing. So thank y'all, see check. you in a minute. <laughs> hey y'all, tonight we are gonna make homemade Taco Bell copycat Mexi Melts. Y'all, it's been a while since I've had these. I vaguely remember them. I know Taco Bell quit making them. But we thought, hey, let's give it a try. So I'm gonna start out with a pound of lean ground beef. And we're gonna get this uh, browned up or cooked up. I'm gonna just turn it on here. Oh, it's not all the way thought out. Y'all, you know this happens to me a lot. I forgot to set out the meat. We were out running around today. So I defrosted it. Sorry, in the microwave. But I'm gonna go ahead and season this up first. I'm gonna use taco seasoning, but I always like to season my meat. If y'all watch me, you know I do. So I'm gonna put a little salt, a little pepper, I'm gonna blow it out, okay? Okay. Add a little onion and garlic to the meat. I'm gonna go ahead and brown this up and then I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, y'all. We're gonna add in our taco seasoning. And y'all know I usually always use the Fiesta brand taco seasoning. I'm gonna put in a tablespoon of that. Ooh. Okay. And then I also need, I need a half a cup of water. This is gonna be a very easy recipe. You know, it's summertime, and a lot of times you don't want to spend all day, you know, slaving over the stove, cook, you know, cooking, and uh, so this is really easy to throw together. So what we're going to do now is um, I'm going to finish kind of mixing this up. I'm going to turn it down. I'm going to let it simmer for about five to ten minutes, and then we'll start assembling our mex Mexi melts, and I'll show you that, and then we'll be ready to eat. And I decided I'm not even really going to make any sides. Um, we're just gonna have something quick and easy today, so. Okay, y'all, I've got the meat done. So what I have here is some damp paper towels. I just wet them and wringed them out, and I'm going to put, I'm just gonna do three flour tortillas to begin with, since it's just me, Courtney, and Adrian eating. And if we want more, then I'll heat them up. So I'm gonna take my tortillas, and we're gonna put them in these paper towels and we're gonna microwave them for about 15 to 20 minutes so they'll soften. I've got one tortilla here and we're gonna put in some of the meat. And it says to use pico de gallo salsa but I don't have any. So I have the Texas Texas restaurant hot sauce and it is so good. So we're gonna put some of that on it. And then we're gonna take and put some, it called for like the Mexican cheese, which I'll have the Colby Jack shredded cheese. I think it'll be just fine. Put a bit of that in there. And then it says to roll the ends up and roll this side up kind of, well, I think I just rolled it one end up. Let me see. Actually, I could maybe I could have put more in there. Let's see. I want it to be real good and full. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add a little more meat. And put a little bit more of that in it. A little bit more cheese. you see that right there? Look at that. Okay. 
then I'm going to roll it up, try to, and then I'm going to take a damp paper towel, which I have one right here, and how long does it say to warm it? Oh man, don't do like that. <laughs> so now we're going to wrap this up in a paper towel, like so. Try to keep it all tied up in there. And then we're going to heat this up for 15 seconds. Hopefully that'll be good enough. Okay, I just pulled this one out. I ended up putting it in for about almost 20 seconds. Let's see. Oh, it's pretty good. I don't know if I should do it longer and make it... I don't know. I think that'll be good. We'll just kind of... And now I have another one already. I'm going to wrap it Hey, up. there it is. Mmm. It's good and warmed up. We're going to eat these and let you know what we think. I want to see your reaction. Actually, Courtney found this recipe for me. We were trying to find something quick because I forgot to figure out something. And she wanted tacos, but I didn't want just plain tacos. I wanted something a little different. So I made bread. How does it taste? Hello. You're in another world. Adrian, what do you think of them? It's good. Good? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. You know what I think would have been good? Ooh, if we'd open up some nacho cheese and put in them, then it really would have been cheesy. Good, good, good. I think they're good. Easy. I mean, this is something, you know, it's Tuesday night, so it's like Taco Tuesday. You want to throw something together, especially if you've been out running around in the heat. You don't want to spend a lot of time over the stove. Tacos are for Tuesday. Yeah. All right. Just, and just for us, it'll be tomorrow. For y'all, it'll be a few seconds. We will show you what we're going to have on Wednesday. Hey, y'all. Tonight, we're going to be making a chicken enchilada soup. I know that a lot of people don't eat soup in the summer months, but... This one sounded so good. This recipe was actually given to me by a friend of mine that I went to school with. Um, she contacted me the other day on Facebook and was asking me for my address so she could send me some recipes that, that she really liked and she thought that I might want to use in some of my videos. And sure enough, there are lots of good recipes. So I'm starting out, I'm gonna, uh, I've got three chicken breasts but they're really flat um, and we're gonna no this raw chicken <laughs> we're just gonna cut these into um, bite-sized pieces and then we're gonna cook these up to begin with and then we will um, then we'll start assembling the soup so I'm gonna just get these cut up real quick Got it all cut up. Now we're gonna get ready to uh, cook it in the pan. Okay, y'all, I got my frying pan. I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna heat that up. I've got it a little over medium high. I'm gonna put my chicken in here, and I think I'm just gonna do like salt and pepper and maybe some garlic powder on it. So we're gonna let that heat up. cooking up and then I will be right back. While that chicken is cooking, I decided to go ahead and take all of the ingredients, the other ingredients, and go ahead and start heating them up into this pot here because I didn't have my chicken preheated um, or pre-cooked, I mean. So we're gonna start out with a can of cream of chicken soup. And then we're gonna make or add a cream of Chick uh, cream of mushroom soup. Sorry, y'all, I cannot talk. So, our cream of mushroom. 
And then we're going to put a, it says a small can of chicken broth. So, I don't know. I have a 14 ounce can. So, hopefully that will work. So, I'm going to go ahead and get that open. Okay. And there's our can of chicken broth. And then we're also going to put a jar of enchilada sauce, the red enchilada sauce. I'm going to get that open. There's our enchilada sauce. And I just use the old El Paso, the mild, but you could use, I guess, the hot if you like it. And then the last canned item that we need is just a can of Rotel. And at the time that I bought the Rotel, um, all they had in stock was the mild. So it's not the original, um, but it'll be all right. And y'all know I'm over here using my Kitchen Mama can opener. I love this thing. And y'all, this chicken is done, so I'm just going to go ahead and put it into the pan, too. So there's our rotel. And the very last thing that we're going to add is a one-pound block of Velveeta. So I'm going to go ahead really quickly and get that cut up because I haven't done it yet. <laughs> and then we'll add that to it. Okay, got all my Velveeta cut up. Whoa. Uh oh, dropped a piece from the floor. So, what we're going to do now is I'm just going to get me a spoon. And the rest, it says to, you know, combine all of the ingredients. And then you're just going to cook them until the cheese is melted. And so I'll be stirring this occasionally. And then it says just to add salt and pepper to taste. And then it says tear corn or flour tortillas into bite-sized pieces and then serve over um, tortilla chips. Well, I forgot, that was the one thing I forgot was to get some corn tortillas. So I won't have corn tortillas in here, um, but I think it'll still be good because we're gonna pour it over the tortilla chips. So that's what we're gonna do. I always forget something. And y'all, I went to town today and basically because I needed to get the Velveeta for this and um, I couldn't find any boxes so I was like you know what when I'm at Walmart I'll just buy some cardboard boxes in their stationery department office department or whatever had it wrote down and everything what do you know I forgot it I had my niece and my daughter and my youngest son and when I'm in Walmart with all them kids they keep me on my toes and so I totally forgot but let me show y'all what I got I'm going to blame Kristen Casper for this, y'all. I got the Magnolia Table, the Volume 2 cookbook. So, y'all, be on the lookout. I'm going to be trying some of these recipes. I've already seen Kristen uh, show a lot of it on her YouTube channel. If you're not following her, you should go follow her. I love her channel. Um, I've seen that she's made some of these uh, recipes, and it just sounded so good, and it says it was $20.98, but when I went on the Walmart app, it showed $13.87. So I asked the CSM at the front, hey, do y'all, will y'all comp this? Because y'all's app says that I could get it free in the store today, you know, like if I paid online. And she's like, oh yeah, we'll comp it. So they met the price, so I got it for $13.87, y'all. And I think it's on Amazon right now for $13.97. I think that's what Kristen had posted on her Instagram yesterday. So anyways, I'm excited to do that. But back to the recipe. Um, I'm just going to let this keep heating up, melting this cheese, and then I will come back in just a few. Well, for y'all, it'll be just a second. For me, it'll be some minutes. <laughs> okay, y'all. It had said on the recipe um, that this recipe gets very thick. It says if it's too thick for you, just to add one small can of chicken broth, and then that will help it out. Well, I didn't want to open a whole other can of chicken broth. So what I did is I took this can of the Rotel, which had a little bit of the pieces left in it. I added a little water to it, and then I took the can with the enchilada sauce and put a tad of water in there and kind of rinsed out the rest of the sauce. Poured it into all one can, so I don't even have quite a half, but I'm gonna add that in just to give it a little bit more liquid because as I'm stirring it, it does feel like it's getting you know, thicker. And I'm going to go ahead right now and just throw in a little bit of salt. I have a half a teaspoon right here. I'm not even going to put that much. I'm putting probably, that might be a quarter of a teaspoon. And then I'm going to probably put about half of this, I don't know, maybe 
close, maybe a little less than a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. And we'll, we'll just stir that in. It is almost all melted. So y'all, this is another, this week is all about stuff that's easy. This is another recipe that I think would be very easy to make. And yeah, it's summertime and maybe you don't want soup, but think about it. It's almost like, I mean, it's cheesy. It would almost be like a, like you're having a dip, you know, like a cheese dip or something with chips. So I think it would be good. Just turn on the AC, sit down, enjoy some soup. And it's that comfort thing, you know? So, I have almost got it. I think it's pretty much all mixed up. I'm going to let it go a couple more minutes. And then we're going to get it over here and plate it up. Once again, it's just me and my two youngest kids. Bryce is gone this month. And my husband is on his way home from Arizona. He's been on the road trucking. So, we will sit down in a minute and we'll get our bowls all plated up and and everything, and we'll let you know what we think. Courtney, how do you like the chicken enchilada soup? It's good. Um, It's really cheesy, which I like cheese. The only thing I don't like is a big tomato, so uh, I'm not eating those. Yeah, the Rotel, they don't like the tomatoes. It just tastes, like, it tastes like nachos. Really? Adrian, where are you going? And guys, guess what? I did my nails. I have to do my pinky. <laughs> I put some tips on and I'm going to paint them. So. She got them at the Dollar Tree. She's experimenting. Okay. Adrian, y'all, my son it's never good. wears a shirt, does he? It's hot. If you live in Texas, you would understand the humidity. That's yeah. why my hair is almost always up. My hair turns into almost like an afro <laughs> with the humidity. How do you like the no suit? Is it the same thing? Afro. You just don't like the tomatoes? Yeah. Good. Okay. Well, yes. Like nachos. Thank you to my friend Sabrina for mm -hmm. giving us this recipe. Uh, yeah.